and Texas had problems early, a lot of turnovers. What was their issue? A lot, of, a lot of sloppiness. I think really the zone that TCU came out in really, I don't know if it surprised Texas, but it certainly gave them trouble. Texas had 10 turnovers in the first half. That's their season average. Rick Barnes not happy. Under four in the first. Cam Ridley misses, but Prince Ebay's there. Wow. Big shot. You know, Prince and Cam both, they came to play. They missed some three or four footers, though, that would have given Texas some momentum in the first half. Nice layup by Kean Anderson. TCU is aggressive. They were. They took the fight to Texas from the very beginning, and it shows right there. Fewest points in the first half all season for Texas. 22-20 TCU at the half. Second half, Jonathan Holmes said, I'm going to take this game over. And you got to love that out of your leader, John Holmes, the bull in the china closet. He comes out firing <laughs> in the second half. Barnes must have really fired him up there at halftime. All right, nine minutes to play now. Horns by four. Anderson, a huge three, stepped into it. Horn Frogs hanging in it. They would all night long. Texas by three. Connor Lambert, that's the offense they're looking for, but great hustle, too. Great hustle by Connor Lambert, just being right there, putting it right back in the hole. All right, Texas still leading here, but Fields would hit the jumper, Frogs within one, and they just would not go away Wouldn't all, go away. All night TCU long. at home, they were hungry. 15th ranked Texas, interstate battle. I mean, give TCU a lot of credit. Watch DeMarcus Holland. Oh, no, it looks like a jam finger or something. Same possession. I'm okay. Shoot the three. He's I'm fine. okay now. I'm Give me okay. The <laughs> I guess his wrist was okay after all. Later, Texas by two. Martez Walker, no Ridley there. Huge play for Texas down the stretch. Horns now by three. Brandon Parrish. Oh, that was a nice screen, and he stepped in. Great it. screen. Isaiah Taylor gave up separation, and good players will knock that shot down. We'll learn that. Cam Ridley now going to get it to Taylor. Jonathan Holmes, it was Holmes in the second half. And he was he he knew he made that shot. He was almost <laughs> at half court before the ball went in the hole. This is an easy opportunity for Texas. Taylor! Oh, great defense by TCU. Good hustle. Great defense by TCU. Great defense. Fighting till the end for the Horn Frogs. Watch this reverse layup by Gore. A little English. Hook makes it a one possession game. Ensuing possession. Taylor gonna drive to the basket. It's gonna miss. But Cam Ridley Big was Cam. all over the boards. Texas killed him on the board. Big Cam. Golly, what a great rebound. And then following up with free throws right here. You know, they've been struggling with free throw shooting. The confidence had gotten better. Rick, your team had 20 points at halftime. They seemed to come out a little more fired up and charged up more energy in the second half. What was the difference? What was the adjustment you made? First of all, I don't want to take anything away from TCU because those guys have fought hard. And they they really, they could have won the game. And uh, But I do and I told the team uh, at halftime, I, I felt like we were playing not to lose. And as opposed to playing to win, we were tentative. And we had 10 turnovers, and it was a direct result of just not taking shots. And uh, then big momentum comes into it, and they came out, and uh, there's no doubt. And we told them at the start of the uh, second half, these guys think they can win this game, so you're going to have to go win it. And uh, again, it was a hard fought game, but there's no doubt that, uh, again, I don't want to take anything away from TCU, but we were very just. Again, we didn't play to win the first half. We act like we just we want to win, but we're not going to do what we have to do to win. And maybe I don't want to say play scared, but we we're definitely playing not to win the game. Now, what did you see in the second half, specifically from Jonathan Holmes, that you liked that made the difference in the game? Well, we, we wanted to run. You know, I mean, we, we, we need to play that way. And, and, you know, they got us into their tempo. And we've talked about that. We want to get down the floor. And, and, and John turned the ball over too much in the first half. But again, it was because we thought we had a size advantage. We talked about going inside, but they did a great job of clogging it up in there. And we just kept trying to make passes that, even if our post guys got it, they couldn't do anything with it. And but we, and then we got down. Too many guys at, went through a period where they all tried to do it by themselves. And finally, we and we couldn't get any stops there for a while. The ball screen defense was terrible tonight. And, and uh, but again, you got to give TCU credit. They they worked hard. And uh, so I don't want to take anything of what they did. A uh, big picture question, kind of the common refrain about your basketball team is that you're exceeding expectations. And I have a suspicion that this team's not exceeding your expectations. They've not, have they surprised you with how successful you've been? No, because again, we, we've set our own expectations. And, and, and one, Reed, we're a more talented team than people give us credit for. And the second thing is, We've been in games like this all year. Our whole non-league schedule was like this. And uh, so I think these guys have a little resiliency about it. They know I'm upset because of uh, just the, the way. And I told him, I said, when you move into the position now where people think you're pretty good and people come after you, now you find out how really tough you are mentally. And I, I know these guys want to win. They want to play well. But again, we played not to win the first half. And just and so we have to learn from it. But 
again, our team is more talented than our players are more talented than, we, than they're given the credit for. Yeah, you talk about the necessity of being tough. Certainly, you're going to have to be tough going into Manhattan to play a very good Kansas State team. You know, Reed, I think they're all tough. I mean, you know, and, and everybody can play, and, and there's such a small margin between winning and losing, and we, we do. We, we, there's no doubt we've got to do a better job ourselves mentally. And, and when I say that, again, I don't want to take anything away from TCU because I thought they did what they've done. Trent does a great job. His, his, his team really executes as well as anybody in our league. And so we're going to have to, again, learn to deal with it. It's going to be a great crowd as it always is up there. So we'll see what we got. Okay, thanks for joining us. Thank you.